Hey y'all, MK here and welcome back to The Cookery. Today, we are actually going to be trying something what looks like to be super simple. Obviously, I'm only going to try super simple recipes as of right now, but it's supposed to be called like Casio e Pepe. And basically, I don't know if I'm saying that right, hopefully I am, but it's supposed to be just a spaghetti with cheese and pepper. And I really do think it's basically all to taste, almost all to taste, especially like the pepper and the cheese. So I think it should be super simple and I don't know how it's going to taste really, probably super basic and simple also, but let's just get right into it and see how it goes. All right, so for today, we're actually going to be like mostly by the stove area, but before we go over there, I thought I'd just go over what I have here. So I have two teaspoons of pepper and I cut down on my Parmesan over here by from four ounces. I only did like two ounces, so that's that. And then I have two tablespoons of olive oil as well as two tablespoons of butter. So now that our ingredients are known and I also have some water already prepped over there, my pasta has already been drained and ready to go. So let's just get right into it and see how it goes. All right, y'all, so believe it or not, I will have the recipe down below, don't worry. But I, ha but the actual like recipe states to just like put it all in one with the butter, olive oil, and garlic. So I'm actually just gonna kind of stir it all in now. Can I use a fork just to make sure everything's going well? And then I'm gonna actually add my pasta over here, right in, with some water too. All right, y'all, so I kind of drained some of my kind of water over there, but this is all my Parmesan here definitely enough and I'm just gonna stir through and then we'll see how it tastes all right y'all so that was actually a fairly simple process it definitely smells really good so I cannot wait to try this but I thought I'd just go over like this is just the size here it fits in like one little cup like so and I think this would actually go good as like an appetizer or something or like a side dish with like a main like chicken meal or something you know something just to eat with it but for now I'm just gonna try it by itself definitely smells good so let's just get right into it Okay, that actually tastes really good for just being the most simple thing like ever, like just cheese and pepper. That tastes really good. Like the smell is great, the taste is great, the pepper is just really there and I really like it even though it's just pepper. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but like it just tastes really simple and I think that's what I really like about it because it's super, like it has that spice to it, it has that cheese to it and I love cheese also and it actually really mixes well together. And I think this is actually just a great dish, honestly. Like, it actually tastes really good for being super simple. All right, y'all, that is it for this week's video. Honestly, super glad I made this because, like, if I ever just have cheese and pepper, which I usually always do, and just some pasta but no pasta sauce, this is definitely a creative way to make pasta. And it really does taste good. Like, it has that spice to it. Definitely, I think I put a little bit extra pepper for some reason, but it definitely has that really, like, dark, nice color to it. And I think this would go great with like a chicken dish or something. So I'm definitely going to keep this in mind for the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and like and comment down below any thoughts, questions, etc. And I will surely get to that. And then I'll see you guys next week.